Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? Yeah, Hi, good, thanks. thank you. I mean, you should be doing very well. You're in the most beautiful spot ever. It's great around here, it's isn't it? It's wonderful. Wonderful. So what's the project? The plan is to build a, an eco-lodge in the woods. This is an extraordinary project. Since the focus of this incredible floating eco-cabin is the woodland, the entire front and back of the build will be glass, surrounded by cedar cladding. Inside, at one end, is the bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. In the middle will be the kitchen, and at the other end, a generous living space. It's now eight months since my initial visit, due to the complexity of making such technical supports. Initially, we thought it might take a month to get that sorted out, so we're quite a long way behind our original <laughs> schedule. Luckily, once the legs go up, it's all systems go. And over the coming weeks, the build really starts to take shape. We're trying to cut up the insulation to go under the floor. To save money, the couple are doing as much work as they can themselves. Well, in total, I think we have to do about 180 so, yeah. of these little blocks in total. And we're at about number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, after some nerve-wracking manoeuvring, the first batch of glass is in place. That's a bit traumatic. I'm not sure I'm coming with another three of these. Luckily for Rick, the rest is plain sailing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been over 18 months since I first came to East Sussex, and I'm dying to see Mally Dam's wood from the trees. Well. Nearly two years later, I'm back to see if their dream has become a reality. Good morning. 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 What a beautiful day to be looking at a staggeringly beautiful build. Yeah, yeah it took a while, but we're so pleased with how it's come out. I've seen some pretty good, amazing spaces in my time, but that is off the scale. Brilliant. I mean, the detailing on it is so crisp and so elegantly done. And just looking back this way, you can just imagine being out on your little terrace, glass of wine, looking out of the most beautiful woodland. It's magical, isn't it? Oh, wonderful. What Rick and Lindsay have created is nothing short of spectacular. From the floating wood burner to the sleek island kitchen, everything here feels light, airy, and utterly effortless. Oh, what a bedroom that is. It's great, isn't it? That is luxury, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> and look at that for a bath. Crikey. Yeah, it kind of really stands out. I think there's not much white in here. It really kind of pops out as a little bit of a statement. That's fantastic. Now, there's one thing this bathroom hasn't got, is a lot of privacy. But this is where some of your very clever glass technology comes in, doesn't it? At the touch of a button, an electrical current passes through the glass, reducing the amount of light travelling through. That's completely surreal. And what can you see from outside looking back in? From outside, it's just completely black. I have to say, that is brilliant glass technology. From the very beginning, Rick and Lindsay had a very clear and ambitious vision about how they wanted this build to be. And they never, ever compromised. OK, it might have taken a little bit longer than they'd hoped, but I have to say, it's one of the most bold, beautiful and brilliant Amazing Spaces projects I've ever seen. 